Alexander, and this is Be Informed. We are continuing our interviews with our Joliet candidates. I have with me Mr. Jan Nahorski. Jan Nahorski is running for Joliet Township Trustee. We're going to speak with him, find out his platform, and find out what he intends to do for the city of Joliet. Hi, Jan. How are you? Hi. Thanks for having us. Okay. Thank you for doing the interview with You're us. Welcome. First, Jan, let's start off by telling my listening audience, um, who are you? Are you married? Do you live here? And tell us all about who you are. Yeah. I'm uh, originally a South Side of Chicago man, uh, and uh, I married my wife, my beautiful wife, 46 years ago. We're Four still married. Uh, we have four children, very responsible, all vote, mm -hmm. and uh, eight grandchildren. Uh, I am a college graduate, Loris College, to be Iowa, and also a U.S. Army veteran, combat medic. Um, I started uh, with the city of Joliet 15 years ago, mm -hmm. next month, and uh, uh, I am the graffiti abatement officer for the city of Joliet. Okay. I've owned a few businesses in town beforehand mm -hmm. and done other things also, but uh, uh, my most gratifying job I ever had is being the graffiti abatement officer for the city of Joliet. Wow, so what's a graffiti abatement officer? Tell me, what does that do? Well, you know, when people uh, abuse a building by spray painting mm -hmm. it or s mm -hmm. a door or a uh, pole or something like that. Uh, a report comes in. Um, I get reports various ways, either through the Joliet Police Department. Uh, citizens call me since they know me now. Uh, I, I go to a lot of the community meetings and they, you know, as that in that position and they know I hand out literature and they know what number to call and all that. So I get reports of graffiti here, there, everywhere. Mm -hmm. My job is to go locate it, uh, then I record it, I take pictures of it, and then uh, depending on what it is, uh, I report it back to the uh, Joliet Police Department if necessary. Mm -hmm. Not all uh, graffiti is uh, vital that they get it, but some of the specialty stuff, I make sure that they know about it. Um, and then I use various products uh, in my uh, in a 4,000 PSI power washer to remove it, <laughs> to remove it. and uh, um, I also do other uh, responsibilities for the city of Joliet. Okay. Um, I do emergency board ups for the PD and mm -hmm. for neighborhood services and a few other things, but we'll, we'll talk about that. Okay, <laughs> all right, well, sounds quite interesting. So let's go on to talk, why did you decide to run for this position? Well, I've always been active in uh, conservative politics and um, I was approached by uh, some of the uh, leaders in the Republican, local Republican Party, and, and they asked me if I would be interested in, um, you know, we always say that if you're not uh, going to uh, walk the walk, mm -hmm. but just talk the talk, mm -hmm. uh, then you really are not doing the best you can for your community. Mm -hmm. So I said, all right, I'll, I'll, I'll do it, and, and I accepted the uh, position of uh, running for the Joliet Township Trustee mm -hmm. on the Joliet Freedom Slate with uh, Diane Harris, uh, uh, John Lawson for Highway Commissioner, mm -hmm. and then uh, uh, Jason Hendricks and, and, and should be Jason King and Tim Hendricks okay. for a trustee. What do you plan to bring to the city of Joliet in the trustee? Well, knowing what I know about um, the, my, my fellow candidates on a slate, mm -hmm. we're all very, very interested in bringing back a normalcy to the township government. Um, we are, as a trustee, I'm going to make sure that every uh, budget is approved and that there's no um, unnecessary items in there. Uh, we're going to be very conservative on, uh, and, uh, and looking at numbers mm -hmm. and making sure that the best interests of the people that we represent are going to be um, Represented. Okay. Well, uh, well, and that was going to be my next question. You're leading me right into it. The position of uh, Joliet Township Trustee. Tell us what that position entails. Um, we are the overseers of the uh, budget that the uh, supervisor provides and the budget that the highway commissioner provides. Uh, we also are overseers of uh, how money is spent. And uh, we uh, definitely are... Uh, the last line of defense uh, and then making sure that the uh, um, money that is uh, allocated to us is w uh, spent wisely. Okay. I know that you're running on a slate with several other right. uh, candidates on this slate. 
Uh, but tell me a little bit about your platform, which will entail um, what you want to do versus what has already been done or not done. What do you stand for in running on this? Yeah, I just always, I'm going to, I was raised by two very uh, hardworking uh, conservative Polish immigrants that mm -hmm. both suffered terribly mm -hmm. at the hands of the Nazis and communists during World War II. And when they got the opportunity to come to America, uh, they made the most of it. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was raised by them mm -hmm. uh, with that mentality. Mm -hmm. So I don't like to uh, talk about yachts and I'll mm -hmm. talk about um, fancy cars and all that stuff. I'm kind of a meat and potatoes type of guy. So you, you're not going to get uh, me to uh, say, oh, I think we need to have new offices or whatever. I'm just happy that um, we can uh, represent the people in a conservative, common sense way um, so that they could say that was good, that yeah. four years was good. Yes. Uh, Jan, I want you to look into the camera and I want you to tell the citizens of Joel they have to vote for you. Listen, my name is Jan Norsky, and I'm running as uh, for the position of Joliet Township Trustee and on the uh, Joliet Freedom Slate. And I was hoping that on April 6th, or before, if you vote early, uh, you will uh, cast your vote for us because we will definitely uh, have your best interests in mind. Okay, and so now my final question. Jan, what qualifies you to run for this position? Of life. Okay, all I, right. I, I, That's a good one. <laughs> I've uh, owned my own business in the past. Mm -hmm. I've uh, uh, managed uh, people before. Uh, I am a one-man department with the city now. Everybody knows me because of my job. I, I do. Um, and uh, I'm just a no-nonsense type of guy. And, mm -hmm. and In fact, people always are amazed at how many people know me and they say, oh, you should run for mayor. <laughs> no, no, I'm not doing that. So, uh, uh, but uh, I just I just think that if you don't work at the grassroots level, uh, if you don't take care of this uh, township level and the uh, library level and the uh, uh, county level and all that, you could forget about what's going to happen uh, at the state and the uh, federal level. So yeah, just trying to get back to my community. Absolutely. So where does your passion lie for this position? Say it again? Where does your passion lie for this position? Uh, again, it's just a matter of uh, wanting to be a lot better than they have been. Um, God knows that it's public knowledge that they've had some pretty terrible uh, headlines about what they have done. Mm -hmm. uh, no need to go into it. It okay. was in the papers already. Mm -hmm. But uh, I know we can do better. Mm -hmm. So um, okay. it's not a problem. Uh, we will be the, the, the common sense people in the corner and nobody's going to be able to talk us into doing something that is uh, not kosher. Absolutely. Well, once again, thank you so much, John, for this interview. And uh, God bless you on your trail to be coming the Joliet Township Trustee. Thank and you heard him. I think that platform is we can do better. <laughs> That's where I got it. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. And now we have Mr. Tim Hendricks. Tim Hendricks is also running for Joliet Township Trustee. We're going to talk with Tim and we're going to find out what he has in store for the city of Joliet. Hi, Tim. Hi, how are you today? I am fine. Thank you so much. Tell my listening audience, who are you? Oh, well, thank you so much for that question. You, um, you know, I have been, I've been born and raised in unincorporated Eagles Park my entire life. But my, my mother and father, they didn't have um, a college education. Mm -hmm. And those are the kind of people that, they're the building blocks of our, our, our communities. Mm -hmm. A lot of people haven't gone to school and they haven't had those educations. And it's great when you have the ability and, and can do that, mm -hmm. but we don't want to diminish those people either. Absolutely. And that's part of the reason why I decided to run. Mm -hmm. I wanted to give a voice to all people. Mm -hmm and be able to say, you know what, regardless of education or your background, we're here to serve you in the Absolutely. community. Mm -hmm. My sister and I were brought up, our parents always told us, if you work hard and if you do what's right, then you can make it in America. And that's what we're doing. So I have lived in unincorporated Angles Park my entire life. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, I just believe that um, you know, Joliet is one of those cities where we're at a, a tipping point where mm -hmm. You know, surrounding areas are booming and they're growing, and Joliet just seems to be like it's getting stagnant. And it's time that we 
revitalize and increase our efforts and grow in our downtown area and growing all the areas around and, and putting some time and effort back into the east side and then into our incorporated areas. Um, and that's kind of what brought me to the point of saying, you know what, it's time to get involved. It's time to get involved. And so t tell me, what do you propose to do to, to change that or to make that better? Well, you know, one of the things that I've said for the longest time is that if we don't invest in people, that if we don't look and approach every situation from a people per first and a community orientated mindset, um, you know, we're not going to be successful in anything that we do. Um, and I think it really is about involving people both from the east side and the west side, getting people together to be able to come up with the ideas that best fit their individual communities. Mm -hmm. um, and I think at the township level, um, you know, it's the oldest and closest form of government to the people. Right. Um, and I think it's important that we're able to um, reach out to those people and hear from them and go back to our boardrooms and go back to our conferences and say, you know what, this is what John and Sarah and Joe said. Okay, and you know there's been uh, a bit of a divide in, in the city of Joliet, so how would you propose working across the aisle and bringing that to fruition? Well, I think, you know, the divide comes from the, the lack of having that open communication. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and that is one of the things that my entire team has decided that we are going to run on communication. Um, the idea that you, you can't have a township where the supervisor and the highway commissioner aren't speaking and, and talking and, you know, there's no open communication. Yes. That's not going to function. It's not going to work. Um, and it's just like in a relationship. If you're in a relationship and you don't have open communication, you're going to be in a relationship Absolutely. for that long. <laughs> so we believe that, you know, forging those um, bonds and communications with people and being able to call up, you know, a neighboring uh, township or a neighboring city and say, listen, we have this equipment, if we want to do this, can you, can you loan us this? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Versus us having to go out and buy $30,000 worth of equipment. That makes all the difference. Collaborate. Collaborate, exactly. Intergovernmental relationships. Absolutely. Intergovernmental relationships. I like that. I like that thought. So what's, what's your passion? What, what really made you to decide to want to run? You know, I love people. Okay. I really do. And, you know, I've been a general manager and now a district manager. Um, I have three stores under me. And, you know, interacting with people on a daily basis and, and looking past just what you get on the outside, those mm -hmm. external things, but really looking past that and seeing people's hearts and where they are and understanding that not everybody grows up the same way. Okay. Um, and some people, you know, they may need a hand up. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, I always tell um, anybody that I'm dealing with in my endeavor is that, you know, the government and some government officials have a tendency to want to give a hand out. Yeah. Um, and that's not what we're looking to do. Yeah. The whole idea of having government and having an elected official is to get a hand uh, up yeah. and not a hand out. <laughs> um, um, and that's what we want to bring to the table. Okay, say you're in that seat. You have your first 100 days. What will you get accomplished in that first 100 days? Well, you know, we want to take a drastic look at the township and how it's operated for at least the last five years. Mm -hmm. um, we want to evaluate, um, and we're even calling for an audit at this point, of government functions mm -hmm. um, at township level mm -hmm. to say, you know, what has been going on and how has this money be, been being spent? Mm -hmm. um, what can we consolidate um, and what can we roll over to make sure that uh, needed funds are available? Mm -hmm. Our whole goal is coming in as the Freedom Slate. It's not to raise people's taxes. That's not what we're looking oh, to do. Good. <laughs> um, our whole goal is to say, okay, what areas of the township can we improve? Mm -hmm. Okay, what areas can we, as the new elected officials, work harder on um, and put more effort into so we can save some money and turn that money around and invest it back into our general fund and other areas that might need it. Okay, so look, at this point, um, Tim, I would like for you to look into the camera and tell the voters to vote for you. Hello everybody, my name is Tim Hendricks, uh, your candidate for Joliet Township Trustee. Um, our election is April 6th, that's the consolidated election. Um, we are looking for and hoping for the best turnout that we've ever seen in Joliet. Uh, our consolidated elections in the past have been dismal at best. Yeah. You know, people don't know them, they're not aware of them, many people ignore them. And what we're asking for is for every American, every person who lives in Joliet and in the township and in the unincorporated areas to remember that your elected officials, the people who impact you the most, are running in this election. Your school boards, your high school boards, mm -hmm. your township, your local city councilmen, mm -hmm. they're all running in this election and they're impacting your taxes and they're impacting what hits you immediately. Mm -hmm. Come out to this election on April 6th or vote early. We're asking for your vote. Absolutely, and I know you're on the slate and you too have a motto, so what's the motto? <laughs> <laughs> we have said from the very beginning that we are the people for the people. 
And I always tell people, you know, it's not just a slogan for us, uh, but a real representation of who we are as individuals. Um, you know, Jan said it best that, you know, we are just five working people. We've worked our entire lives, and some of us are now retired, and you know, this is this is what we're looking to do, is we're best in people. Okay, well, other than being in management and, and all those things, uh, tell me what qualifies you for this position? Well, currently I serve as the Joliet Township Republican Organization Chairman, mm -hmm. um, and I've just been appointed and elected to the Will County Central Committee's position of the third Vice Chairman. Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you. Um, so, you know, it offers a unique position because we're able to look at now the county and, of course, the township as a whole, and go, all right, how can we invest and work to make people better? How can we invest and look at the area that we're in and say, what can we do for our business owners? What can we do for those people who are less unfortunate? Okay. Absolutely. Well, you know what? It has been a honor speaking with you. Okay. And God bless you on your trail to obtaining the seat of Joliet Township Trustee. Thank you so much. It's been an honor with you. God, thank you. Hi, and now we have the ominous Mr. John Lawson. He's running for Joliet Township Highway Commissioner. Yeah. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Okay, good. So tell us a little bit about you. Well, um, lifelong resident, Joliet, 63 years. A wife, five daughters, 14 grandkids. Uh, we got it going on. You got plenty of votes already. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Much. Absolutely, absolutely. And so that's fine. So, uh, what made you decide to run for this position, John? I, I re recently retired. I'm looking, I'm not one to sit around. Okay. So, and I've, I've been involved with mechanics my whole life, body shop, and uh, the guys down there in the township need some help. Mm -hmm. And we know quite a few people that work down there. Okay. And, They've encouraged me to come in and okay. I can work on machinery. I can do all kinds of oh, stuff. Oh, really? Save a ton of money. Wow. And plus, enjoy it doing it. So. Okay. All right. So, do you do you own a body shop or? I I had a body shop for thirty five years, and now my daughter took over it uh, two years ago, Samantha, mm -hmm. and she's running it now. So, I've, I've got some other businesses we deal with that uh, we have okay. we have a lot of stuff happening, but it's. So if, I ever have a, so if I ever have an accident, can I, can sure I come can. to you? My daughter will take care of you. Okay, sure. okay, great. So uh, tell me, uh, what would be your platform? Well, my platform is just get things in order, get things happening in the right direction. Mm -hmm. I had uh, 10 years construction, Gallagher Asphalt, mm -hmm. so it's not like I'm new to it. T.T. Farrell I work for. Oh, wow. So and I did concrete work. I did a little bit of everything. Mm -hmm. but. Uh, the body shop was a long run, but okay. early on, I've, I've got the experience and mm -hmm. I, can, I know I can help. So John, tell us, what does uh, the highway commissioner do? What's their responsibility? Well, we pretty much have to oversee what's going on with all the workers, mm -hmm. make sure the roads, we get, we get the calls from people, we go out, we check everything, and we try to get everything in the right direction. Mm -hmm. it, it, if it, potholes, mm -hmm. signs knocked down, whatever it is, mm -hmm. that's us to oversee it okay. and get things happening. Okay, in your first 100 days, you are in that seat. Tell me what's your top priority? Mainly getting everything organized. We have a lot of worn out equipment they need to go through and I have a mechanical background so I can help with that. We can see what it's gonna take to make things roll the right direction. Mm -hmm. And we're just gonna go for it. Okay, all right, so that's, uh, so in, or in other words, you're saying, you just want to put things in order so that you can complete the whole list of things that needs to be done down there. Yes, Am I not correct right. about mm. that? It's, it's just something that has to be done. It has yeah. to be lined up, get it organized, mm -hmm. and deal with the public. We, okay. we have to deal with the people in the neighborhoods, find out their concerns, see what we can do to make things better. Absolutely. Now, I, I, I um, heard you mention earlier that y you um, are responsible for, like, having someone or you going through the neighborhood and finding out these areas and finding out the concerns of the people. Um, so, however, does that, that covers a whole city or a whole Will County? What does it cover? We have, well, city, city is different, but we work with them. Mm -hmm. We're six square miles of okay. is what the township is. Mm -hmm. And part of it's the city, but we still work with, they still, we still get their vote. Mm -hmm. So, okay. and that's what it's all about. And we have, 
Uh, it's 68 miles of highway. Okay. It's uh, five bridges we take care of. Oh, so, wow. And, you know, your street signs, mm -hmm. whatever, you, mm -hmm. you got to stay on top of that. Oh, okay. But, like I say, potholes, whatever right. they need, and, and dealing with the public drainage, you know. It's yeah, okay. It's okay. going to be... It's okay. going to be a chore. It'll All be right. good. Okay, that's going to be awesome. That's that's a lot of work. <laughs> You're ready for it, Looking right? Looking forward to it. <laughs> okay, so what's your passion in it? Are you passionate about it? Oh, yes, okay. definitely. All right. Okay. I'd like to say I've been in business 35 years. Mm -hmm. I like working with the community. Mm -hmm. it's, it's good times. Okay, awesome, awesome. So listen, at this point, uh, John, look into the camera and tell the citizens of Joliet to vote for you. Hi, I'm John Lawson running for Joliet Township Highway Commissioner. We need your vote April 6th. We pre appreciate it much. I know that you guys are on a slate and it's how many of it? of you? There's five of us. There's five of you on a slate and you all have a motto. Tell us your motto. We the people for the people. Okay. And if, uh, like I said earlier, if somebody needs a ride to the polls, call us, because we are the people for the people. We're going to do what we can to get everybody out to vote. We need it bad. Okay, and you heard him. We the people for the people. That means you. Okay, thank you, John. Thank you. You're welcome. And I happen to have with me today the king, Mr. Jason King. He's running for Joliet Township trustee. We're going to talk with Jason, and we're going to find out um, his platform as well. You know, it's really kind of the same platform because they're on a slate, but we're going to let Jason tell you all about their slate and their platform. Hi, Jason. How are you? Hi, Julia. Thanks for having me. Okay. Thank you for doing an interview with me on today. And I know that you guys were on a slate and everyone on your slate uh, are we the people for the people. So could you explain to the listening audience that slate and that motto and where'd you pick that up from? Well, it's it's not just a catchphrase. It's 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 really a, it's it's a reality. That's that's how we feel. Um, it's really the reason all of us have decided to run. Um, we we think there's issues that need to be addressed, mm -hmm. and uh, you know everyone was very happy with their lives. Yeah. Uh, and but you know when it's a, it's called a civic duty for a reason. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're here to do. Absolutely. Okay, so tell us a little bit about you, Jason. Um, born and raised here. Tell us about you. Yeah. Well, first and foremost, I'm uh, almost 30 years married to my beautiful wife, okay. and her name is Julia as well. Hi, Julia. <laughs> okay. Um, I have uh, three beautiful adult daughters, uh, very accomplished. Um, I uh, was a uh, union carpenter for about 17 years uh, out of Will County Local 174. Um, and uh, I started my own business, and uh, it, it's become an award-winning business. And uh, we went from startup to uh, a, a highly sought-after, very successful business in less than five years. And what business was that? Uh, I'm in home improvement. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So uh, that's uh, pretty much the gist of me. You know, I've been here, here in uh, a Joliet East Side for almost uh, 40 years. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so, uh, yeah. Just very interested in mm -hmm. what goes on in my community. I like to do a lot of charity work mm -hmm. and uh, things of that nature. So mm -hmm. uh, we just want to get everything uh, straightened out. You spoke a little bit about, you know, why you decided to run, but everyone has a passion that makes them real actually get up and do something. What was your passion? Well, I, I just want a better place for my children to live. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, it's it's they call it a civic duty for a reason. Uh, people do that for their society. Mm -hmm. So um, we, as a slate, felt there there needs to be improvement. So we're we're working towards that. Uh, you can really tell uh, that we work really closely because a lot of our a lot of our answers are the same. And mm -hmm. you know, and a, the platform is is something that we brought together everyone and and decided upon that we were going to do. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things, though, that was brought up to us recently was that uh, our platform's so generalized. Mm -hmm. Well, there's there's two reasons for that. Okay. One mm -hmm. is uh, the current board right now is is, is just has a, a, a true lack of, of transparency. Um, aside from you know issuing a Freedom of Information Act, where we can't really get any of the information that we want. Mm -hmm. So in order to form a, a you know a, a, a pinpointed you know platform about everything that we want to do we can't really do that 
uh, without information. Mm -hmm. So we don't really know where we stand right now. Um, and then it, what we want to do is try to go and back and do a forensic audit. Mm -hmm. uh, that's going to be day one. Mm -hmm. Figure out where everything is going, where all the money is, mm -hmm. what's being spent. And then we can figure out a way to run it more efficiently and make sure that all of our basic priorities are met first. Mm -hmm. And then there's plenty of, without any misappropriation of funds, there's plenty of money to do all the other things that we need to do. Mm -hmm. um, so what, it's just, uh, uh, we, we, <laughs> we, we got to get things straight. Yeah, got to get yeah. things straight. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and so, so uh, you've kind of already uh, alluded to what, would happen on the first 100 days and right. tell me what what would be your top priority in the first time 100 days as trustee well as a trustee basically my my job is to watch over and, and to approve and 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 uh, budgets and mm -hmm. and make sure that all the all the I's are dotted all mm -hmm. the T's are crossed mm -hmm. uh, we basically watch over the, our supervisor and our highway commissioner and, and we, we just make sure that everything is going good, and that's why there's four of us, okay. you know, so that we can, everybody can get together, decide, hey, this is the right move, mm -hmm. and, and this is gonna be better for our, our citizens. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's basically what my priority is okay. as, as, a, as a trustee. We're, we're kind of like a watchdog. Okay. And tell the listening audience to vote for your slate. Okay, um, so uh, on April 6th, uh, we respectfully ask for your vote. Um, but we need everyone on the slate to get in so we don't run into any roadblocks. A lot of major changes need to happen. So please, when you get to the polls, you're going to want to vote for Diane Harris, for Supervisor John Lawson, for Highway Commissioner, and for Trustees Tim Hendricks, Jason King, and Jan Nahorsky. And uh, we hope you come out. All right. And so when... Um, they come out and they vote for you and you guys are in that seat all is it five of you yeah there's five all five of you are in that seat are you guys going to give me this follow-up interview this victory interview absolutely uh and and i'll tell you julia if you would like to come and film our our board meetings you're more than welcome to do so because that's one of the things we want to do is we want to create more transparency mm -hmm within this board. Mm -hmm. Do they have board meetings going on? I mean, I know that they have board meetings, but are they ever filmed now? I don't think so, no. I've, I've never seen one. Okay. It would be an honor to uh, take on that uh, so that the public can know. Uh, and it's really being transparent and open and letting the citizens that you're serving know what you're doing with their funds. Yeah, that's absolutely the way it is. Uh, we, we have nothing to hide. Uh, we're we're uh, totally here for the citizens. Okay, and the motto yeah. is? We the people, for the people. All right, thank you so much, Jason. <laughs> you have a great Thank you, Julia. Okay, God bless you. <laughs> and now we are with Ms. Diane Harris. Ms. Diane Harris is running for Joliet Township Supervisor. We're going to speak with Diane and find out what she plans to do for the Joliet Township. But first, let's learn a little bit about Diane. Mm -hmm. Hi, Diane. Tell us about <laughs> you. Hi, Julia. Thank you. Thank you so much for having our uh, team here. Um, You're welcome. So anyway, I am Diane Harris, and uh, life, as everybody mostly are, lifelong residents of Joliet. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I um, did uh, attend the public schools mm -hmm. and... Um, graduated from Joliet uh, Central. I am a Steelman. Okay. Yeah, and then of course I, I did a couple of studies at, um, well I graduated from the Joliet Junior College as well. Okay. And then I did uh, some studies over at the University of St. Um, Francis. Okay. But I got my bachelor's from the University of Phoenix. Mm -hmm. And then um, I am a licensed insurance agent, but uh, that's kind of a bitter sweet okay. profession. Mm -hmm. I, I own a ladies uh, clothing store uh, called It Is Amazing, mm -hmm. and that is my passion. And it's uh, right in the city, <laughs> in the heart of our city center, right? Yeah, okay. yes, right right mm -hmm. downtown Joliet. Mm -hmm. We're um, one block south of the Rialto Theater, okay. and um, um, that's the fashion is my passion, so yeah. that's that's kind of what I really okay, enjoy doing. Um, and of course, I have three children, and I'm on the numerous boards and um, members of organizations, and I enjoy enjoy volunteering for the um, community. Okay. Um, I'm running for Joliet uh, Township Supervisor because 
uh, there is a need there, mm -hmm. you know, currently, um, you know, it's nothing new. It was in the newspaper, you know, that there may have been some misappropriations of funds. Okay. So, um, and keep in mind that the Joliet Township uh, government is the closest to the people. Mm -hmm. And so when you think in terms of it, government being close to the people and misappropriation of funds, that means we need a better government. Yes. You know, in our team, our slate of uh, candidates, we want to focus on good governments. Mm -hmm. We want to make sure that we go in um, with, with um, uh, what we call a trustworthy, ethical mm -hmm. uh, standards so that the individuals who look up to us to provide services to them, that they can trust us. Mm -hmm. You know, because when pa taxpayers are there to pay their taxes and the funds are being used, they want us to protect their funds, and that's basically what we will be there for. Um, <clears throat> also, um, as a supervisor, um, what, what we like, what I would like to do, along with my slate, mm -hmm. um, is make sure that uh, we take a look at the budget mm -hmm. and make sure that the um, budget is balanced. We want to make sure that all of the um, uh, funds that are being appropriated to certain areas, if we can reduce those and maybe increase them somewhere else, mm -hmm. that would be more beneficial to the residents, then that's what's something that we would certainly look at. Mm -hmm. So if we can re in decrease the dependence mm -hmm. and help them with programs and services that will help them become more independent, mm -hmm. then that's best, that's good for both the township and the individuals themselves, Absolutely. a win-win situation. Absolutely. So that's that's some of the things we'd like to look at. Okay. Okay. And so <coughs> tell me, um, uh, you kind of hinted on a little bit of it, but tell me more of what a trustee does. I mean, I'm sorry, um, supervisor. Supervisor. Mm -hmm. Supervisor basically handles the checkbook mm -hmm. for the um, township. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I guess you could say we're we're the treasurer for the township okay. office. Mm -hmm. um, we sign the checks. Okay. Uh, we take a look at the budgets. We make sure that um, uh, along with our board of trustees, mm -hmm. we make sure that uh, funds are allocated properly. Um, um, departments um, are not overspending or make sure that they are spending to up to what they need to spend mm -hmm. to, uh, to provide the services for the people. Mm -hmm. um, and we also, um, have what we call a general assistance fund, okay. and that fund is utilized um, for the individuals who have fallen on hard times okay. and they may need to um, have assistance. Mm -hmm. uh, and what um, we would like to do is, uh, as a supervisor, I'd like to take a look at that particular budget item and uh, go into it line by line to see if we can um, maybe reduce some in this area and maybe add it in another area mm -hmm. so that it benefits um, the residents. Mm -hmm. You know, so that, that's basically what um, the township supervisor does. Mm -hmm. um, and we also uh, would like to uh, bring our citizens who are utilizing our services uh, to independence. Okay. You know, um, currently the pandemic is here mm -hmm. and we'll probably have, you will see the effects of it for a long time. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure that the township uh, will be in dire uh, demand mm -hmm. through uh, the, the, the citizens. Right. So we want to make sure that um, we can provide the services that's needed mm -hmm. to the people so that we can increase our independence okay. and decrease our dependency. Okay. All right. mm -hmm. um, and, and we, as a supervisor, uh, we also <clears throat> uh, take a look at our animal control districts. Mm -hmm. um, we have mosquito abatements, mm -hmm. and um, we f we have um, medical equipment that yes. we rent out, yes, you yes. know, to individuals who mm -hmm. uh, may have you know needs in that mm -hmm. area. Mm -hmm. uh, it's it's the, the again the township is uh, the largest oldest mm -hmm. government, mm -hmm. form of government, mm -hmm. but yet we're the closest to the people. Yes. And, and that's why we have to have individuals who have ethical standards and individuals who want to um, make sure that the people are protected. Um, most of the people on our slate are business owners and we have managers and things of that nature, so we know the importance mm -hmm. you know, of, when our, of, of where dollars should be spent okay. and how they should be used 
and they should not be misused. Yeah. Okay, That's speaking <coughs> of knowing the importance, mm -hmm. uh, let's say you're in that seat and you have you are in there for your first 100 days. What would be your top priority? Well, the top priority is to maybe to do um, what we call a forensic audit. Okay. Um, because if you mentioned, if you remember earlier, I mentioned about possibly some misappropriation yes. of funds. Uh -huh. Well, we don't want to walk into yeah. that. Right. We want to make sure that we're at ground zero when mm -hmm. we go in and everything is the way it should be. Mm -hmm. You know, we're looking at maybe a five year, mm -hmm. you know, um, some of us have alluded to even say a 10 year audit yes. because mm -hmm. um, we just don't want anything to come back and bite us. Absolutely. And I think that would be fair to us as, mm -hmm. as uh, supervisor, commissioner, and mm -hmm. trustee, mm -hmm. as well as it is to the people. Mm -hmm. Because if there's something there that we need to, to backtrack on, then that's taken away from the services of the people. Okay. And, and as, as they all said, we are the people that are for the people. Okay. So we want to make sure that you know, that's in order as absolutely, well. Absolutely, absolutely. I think those are all <laughs> wonderful things. So, so what made you decide to run again? Well, again, um, you know, I love the newspaper. Yes. I love the local <laughs> news and, you know, I live and breathe the, the radio. Yes. So, you know, I, I picked up newspaper and I saw an article that really, really distressed me. And um, whether it has merit or not, you know, they always mm -hmm. say, you know, where there's smoke, there's fire. They had to yes. be something. So <laughs> I felt that, that it's time you know, we should we should um, get a slate together and, mm -hmm. and take over that situation because um, there hasn't been, well, if I must say, uh, Republicans in that office since the 80s. Wow. So in my opinion, change is needed. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, the, 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 again, the individuals who are um, running along with me, um, we all understand the importance of, mm -hmm. of um, good governance. Yeah. Okay, yeah. absolutely, absolutely. At this point, Diane, I, I'd like for you to look into the camera and tell the citizens to vote for you. <laughs> well, my name is Diane Harris, and on April 6th or before, I ask that you go to the polls. And when you go to the polls, I ask that you vote for the entire slate of Republican candidates. If you support me, it's very difficult for me to do my job unless we have the same individuals uh, who think the same way. So the entire slate are people who support people. Mm -hmm. So we ask that you support us. And there is one thing I want to add. <clears throat> there is a bill that's called HR1, and it's a we the people bill. We are not those people. That people represents politicians. We are not politicians. We're here to serve the public. So please, when you go to the polls, take a look at our slate and please vote straight Republican. Diane Harris for Township Supervisor. Thank you. Okay, and so Diane, one more time, what is that motto? <laughs> Tell them. <laughs> Again, we are the people for the people. Thank you so much, Diane, for doing the interview with me on today. And Thank God you. bless you on your trail to becoming the Joliet Township Supervisor. Thank you, Julie, You're so welcome. much. Thank you for having us. You're welcome.